In my last video, I talked about the item systems in League of Legends and Dota 2, and how they are both similar in some ways, but different in many others. Now it's time to compare item abilities, both active and passive. But to understand why the items exist in the state they do now, it's imperative that I first talk about item design philosophy. Let me explain. There's a very distinct contrast between what items are meant to do as systems within League of Legends and Dota 2. Yes, they give power and can provide solutions to problems the player may encounter. But in general, League wants you to feel like the champion is being powered up by their items without changing what the champion feels like to play, while the items in Dota fundamentally alter the core playstyle of heroes. Let me give you an example. Take the Initiator Orn from League versus the Initiator Earthshaker from Dota. Orn can buy items like Sunfire Aegis, Jockshaw, or Gargoyle Stoneplate, but with each pickup, even with actives, he doesn't feel that much different to play with or play against. You still want to keep your distance from his breath and try and dodge his linear ultimate. Now, looking at Earthshaker, let's compare him before and after he has his blink tag. Pre-blink, you want to keep your distance when you see him. You can use defensive tools to halt his combo and reduce his incoming damage. But after Blink Dagger, now it's a game of vision and spacing. It's not even about dodging him, that's impossible. And he's just a support. There are so many ways that items change how a hero plays. Here's just a few more. Marcy with BKB Basher can solo almost anyone, even from the support role. Shadow Fiend with a Shadow Blade can now surprise butt sex you. Beastmaster with Helm of the Overlord upgrades from Pokemon Trainer to a Pokemon Master. Even small items can make a huge difference. League does have powerful items, but their powers seen by how the item improves or augments the base kit of the champion, and not so much with how it changes the champion. There's a few exceptions like Zonia's and Guardian Angel, but it's not the norm. Most of the time, all you will notice with item purchases is that someone has more durability or more damage, and not much else. One of the most common criticisms I hear from the League community is that items in general feel just so boring. You have practically the same item build on each champion in almost every game regardless of the team composition from each side. There is fewer and fewer item actives with each year that passes. And by now, there is only a handful of items that have any sort of flashy use cases at all. Another thing to mention is that in League, nearly every single finished item has unique passive on top of the base stats. This means that League has a lot more types of item passives than Dota. Unfortunately, because they're all passives and usually don't change your playstyle at all by having them, you don't really notice what the items do half the time. In an attempt to keep the items interesting, the item passives are sometimes made really intricate to the point where they are annoyingly obtuse. They have either way too many stats to track, or have conditional effects such as 3-hit passives or trigger and only when certain ability types get used. If you're a League player, you probably had to do a lot of item simplification in your head, just to make sense of it all. You don't pick up a Luden's Tempest because you're thinking about how it increases your damaging spell casts damage by 100 plus 10% AP, but also fires 3 orbs at nearby enemies also doing damage, and how it also provides you with movement speed, and how the cooldown is reduced by almost 3 seconds per enemy hit with other abilities, and with each other item you get magic penetration and... No. To you, Luden's Tempest makes your nukes do AoE damage with big numbers. This is what I mean by an obtuse passive. It can be simplified, but why is it so complicated? Okay, with the exposition out of the way, let's have some fun and compare individual items. Enjoy and remember, yes, Dota items are balanced most of the time.
aside from monkeys. Take a moment right here Feel like it's out here Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Thank you. 